Hey everybody, it's Father Edward Looney and we are at the Destry Chapel. It was established in 1872, so just imagine that this is a very old chapel that people have been praying at for a very long time. It is located here in Gardner on Fox Lane. As you're coming up to Fox Lane, you would take a left and it's up there on the road on the right. And here we are at the Destry Chapel. It is dedicated to St. Odelia. And this chapel actually has undergone some changes and renovations in recent weeks and months. And so here we are entering now the Destry Chapel. And there's a little explanation of the chapel. The chapel was built in 1872 by Joseph Destry after the Great Fire of 1871, also known as the Peshko Fire. Joseph Destry was a stonemason. While working on his craft, Joseph accidentally dropped hot lime into his eyes. Fearing the loss of his sight, he prayed to God that if he regained his sight, he would build a chapel in honor of St. Odile, patron saint of eyesight. And so it was built. Joseph Destry never had eye trouble after the chapel was built. And so here it is. We have a little statue here of St. Odelia. This statue, we see the two eyes there because she is the patron saint of eye disorders. We see that she has a crozier there, meaning that she was an abbess, that she was a nun. Let us look around at the rest of the chapel here. We have an image of Jesus. This is just a common image of our Savior. We have the Last Supper, and look at that. It's on a, wo on a wood panel, probably oak. Have an image of the Blessed Mother and Jesus there and the Immaculate Heart. And then we have a few statues there of Jesus and Mary. So just a typical Our Lady of Grace statue. The Immaculate Heart of Mary, the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Another Sacred Heart of Jesus. And a few more statues down here as well. And you'll see that there's even a prayer to St. Odelia. Now, we are actually going to pray the Litany of St. Odelia because as you'll remember from all of our visits to the roadside chapels is that I really like litanies because they sometimes tell us the story of the saint. And here we have the family that built this chapel. Another Last Supper and a stone right here from the original chapel. We have that image of the Blessed Mother. I know that this was recently replastered and really enhanced for all those who come and visit and pray here. And so delighted to bring you to the Destry Chapel here on Fox Lane, dedicated to St. Odile, as we heard. St. Odelia, there are actually two St. Odelias and um, given that this is a Belgian area, it's probably the second St. Odelia, but it seems that both of them are the patron saint of those with eye disorders. And it also seems that maybe the stories are legend and maybe we're confused, who knows? So um, the first story of St. Odelia is that at the end of the seventh century, she died about uh, 720. So born at the end of the seventh, died in 720. According to a trustworthy statement, apparently taken from an earlier life, she was the daughter of a Frankish lord and his wife, who had large estates in Elisa. She founded the convent of Hopenburg, Odellenburg, and alas, to which Charlemagne granted immunity. Um, as it goes on, according to the narrative, she was born blind, miraculously receiving her sight at baptism. A shorter text probably independent of her vita, is contained in a manuscript of the early 11th century. Eternal evidences point to the original 8th century biography, and her feast is celebrated on December 13th. So that's the first St. Odelia. The second St. Odelia, uh, the legend has few details about her, said to have lived in the 4th century, and have been the daughter of a ruler, a king in Britain, uh, together with a group of other young women, that includes St. Ursula, she was traveling in Germany. And according to one account, because they were on pilgrimage to Rome, another claims they were looking for a place to settle and quietly practice their faith. But the barbarians in intercepted them at the gates of Cologne and martyred them. 
In 1287, Odilia appeared to a brother of the Crozier Order in Paris, and in response to a request, her relics were traced in Cologne and moved to their mother house at Huy in Belgium. Along the way to Huy, various cures of blindness and other infirmities happened. There are relics of St. Odelia in Minnesota. Now, this is probably the St. Odelia story that we are talking about here in the Belgian area, in the Belgian peninsula, because the Crozier Fathers, Father Edward Dames, was a Crozier priest. And so, as a Crozier, his order had a devotion to St. Odelia. Remember when we went to Thierry Dames and we visited that chapel? There was uh, a statement in the story, in the history, that said that it was named after the Belgian St. Odelia. And that's the connection of St. Odelia to Belgium would be the Crozier Fathers, Thierry Dames, bearing the very name of that priest, Father Edward Dames, his last name. So, probably Odelia of Cologne and not uh, Odelia of Alassé. So anyways, there is a litany, and, you know, good question, which litany uh, is to St. Odelia, but I'm sure that either St. Odelia will hear us, and their stories are being told here for us through this litany. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Odelia, excellent companion of Saint Ursula, pray for us. Saint Odelia, wonderful virgin and martyr, pray for us. Saint Odelia, privileged spouse of Jesus, pray for us. Saint Odelia, who out of love for Jesus left your country, pray for us. Saint Odelia, who after the example of Jesus courageously carried your cross, pray for us. Saint Odelia, who preferred death to the loss of your virginal purity, pray for us. Saint Odelia, shining by your constancy and torment, pray for us. Saint Odelia, who generously died the martyr's death, pray for us. Saint Odelia, patroness of the Order of the Holy Cross, the Crozier Fathers, pray for us. Saint Odelia, whose name is glorified by miracles, Pray for us. Saint Odelia, healer of the diseases of the eyes. Pray for us. Saint Odelia, powerful intercessor with God. Pray for us. Saint Odelia, our help and our hope and our need. Pray for us. Let us pray. Father in heaven, you have shown us your kindness by giving Saint Odelia to us as the patroness of the Order of the Holy Cross and of the blind and afflicted. We humbly ask you to protect us through her intercession from the darkness of ignorance and sin and to be cured of blindness and any other sickness. Through him who is the source of all healing and life, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Now, in the first story of St. Odelia that we heard, it said that at holy baptism, her sight was restored. So she was born blind, but when she was brought to the font of baptism, then she was able to see. There's a great spiritual teaching here about holy baptism. That in a sense that when a person is unbaptized, that they are blind. But then when they come to the font that now they see. They see who Jesus is. They see who God is. They see because of their faith in Almighty God. You know, one of the things that that blind man in the scripture asked Jesus, I want to see and so Jesus opened the eyes of that blind man. Here we are at the chapel of St. Odelia, and we have just invoked her marvelous intercession. And I hope that you too will come here and visit this little chapel. And if you ever find that you have a reason to pray, especially for disorders of the eyes, to regain your sight for a successful surgery, this is the chapel for you to come and pray at. This is the saint who you want to intercede before the throne of God. I'd like to thank you for joining me today on this tour of the Destry Roadside Chapel, and I hope that you'll join me tomorrow as we bring to a conclusion our pilgrimage here in northeastern Wisconsin in Brown, Kiwani, and Door County to the Roadside Chapels. Tomorrow is the mother of all chapels, and I can't wait to share it with you. I'll see you then.